What's going on, boys? And today, today, guys, <laughs> today, boys, uh, we're gonna take a look at some more cheats 101, boys, and learn about cheating. Um, so la my last cheats 101 video, guys, we went right into the aim locks. So today, we're gonna go into uh, how easy it is to inject a cheat, and we're gonna start kind of at the easiest way to do it, and pretty much like the the simplest way, and then we're gonna go up a bit to uh, the harder ways, but uh, more secure ways. And boys, we're gonna be looking at uh, what are uh, low FOV aimbots. I know most people know what this is, but there's some people that don't, so I figure I'll go over it. Check it out, boys. Whoa, wicked. Whoa, wicked. Right, so you guys always ask me how easy it is to load my cheats. So, uh... Yeah, here we go. Alright guys. So you just saw how I loaded my cheats from desktop with literally just pressing a shortcut. It's all loaded in, no one sees a thing. So cheats like this would have worked at such places as uh, Northern Arena. You could have easily gotten away with that. The amount of files they're moving around, clicking on, I'd say you have about 95% chance of successfully getting away with that kind of thing without anyone noticing, especially if you're on one of the middle computers. Uh, it's a lot easier. Um, so this way I'm just going to show you a way that I found out you could do through Razer. Um, I'm sure a lot of other um, I'm sure a lot of other mouse drivers and keyboard drivers have the, the same features. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong in comments I'm sure. So uh, as you can see here there's many shortcuts you can do and I'm sure I was surprised there was only these shortcuts you could do. I thought for sure you'd be able to do some. Oh you can. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. So I'm gonna make this key the key to execute my cheats. So default launch program and desktop. Let's find where she is there. Speed test. Okay, save. Now all I have to do boys is press that button on my keyboard and my cheat's going to inject silently. You guys saw nothing popped up or anything. Uh, it loaded in by itself. So that's how you do it. You can do the same thing with your mouse as well. Uh, I usually have a macro set to my mouse 5 when I do have Razer on. Uh, same thing again. Launch program. You do the exact same thing. So that's, that's, that's literally how easy it is. Um, now prior to this, obviously with like the Northern Arena Land, you could literally just download this. That wouldn't be that difficult. Um, now guys, I would also like to say, at least with these cheats I use, there's something you could use at LAN as a safeguard. Um, so say somebody's watching you play, and they're just like, they just said to you, Hey, hey fucking Dan M, you're fucking bullshit, man. All you get is fucking headshots. Okay, so you, so you say, Hey PETA, PETA, come over here, have a try. Try my, try my gear, it's pretty good. And uh, so when he's gonna come over and use your shit, he thinks he's he thinks he's gonna like press something on your keyboard and and find it, or he's gonna shoot and he's gonna notice it. Well, with these cheats I use, not naming any names, and if you guys fucking know, don't write in the fucking comments. Okay, thanks. Anyways, with these cheats, um, you have to utilize uh, certain settings. So certain settings have to be on or off for the cheats to work. So what I do is I bind a key on my keyboard in game to that setting. So say uh, say I need to have anti-aliasing set to four, okay, or so something similar to that that you can bind. Um, so I would just set a key on my keyboard to change it from four. So normally when I have anti-aliasing on four, my cheats work fine. But as soon as I have anti-aliasing off, my cheats don't work anymore. So, hey, oh, buddy, buddy, you want to play? I've already pressed, I've already pressed a key on my keyboard. 
Okay, everything's turned off. He goes to touch it. Nothing works. Nothing is going to work. Okay? So there's absolutely no way to detect it that way. Um, same thing with an admin. Again, no way. Um, an admin could watch you set up your computer. You could have the file so deep into your folders. You could have it, like, so deep. And all, I, all you have to do, an admin is watch, watching you setting up your shit. You just hit a key by accident. Your shit's loaded. You never know a difference. Um, so this this method is pretty effective on obviously like low low tier events and you know what I, I actually think this could be effective at the higher levels if done correctly if you put the gear boys if you put the gear in your fucking mouse okay you could do the exact same thing you could execute it the exact same way so boys really it's not that hard and uh, I actually got a message from this guy and uh, I'm just gonna read it to you guys Okay, now boys, now the reason I'm reading this out is because I don't have as much knowledge in this field as apparently this guy does. But anyways, I'm just going to go over it really quick. Basically, before this, he was saying that uh, Richard saying someone is ballsy is an ad adequate defense for possibly cheating the professional scene, of course. People have cheated in the highest level of sports for hundreds of years. When there is money, a ranking system, gambling, or anything of that sort involved, there will always be an exploit to the system. <laughs> The fact that ESCA involved Valve in the professional cheating scandal just proves that Valve themselves aren't able to control the scene. I understand you have to be generally neutral in the scene since you have a personal connection to many professional players, but if you're going to defend them, then I suggest going on a different avenue. Silently executable drivers are not difficult to code. They have been used in malware execution for years and could be easily executed from a USB installed in series with the mouse USB. When the USB for the hardware connects the computer and registers the hardware, as soon as the power is given the hardware, any file you have set to silent execute would automatically run. This is how USB spread malware has been used for ages. People have infected large banks and corporations this way for over 10 years. The professional scene is incredibly vulnerable, and I believe we won't realize how blind we are until 5 to 10 years later from now. But that is how every sport grows. Now imagine this. Imagine that you not only have the file silently execute, but you also have through encrypted the file and have had it execute somewhere entirely untraceable. This is how malware works. This is the reason people have had botnets with over 4 million infected computers and no one had a clue. If each time the actual cheat is injected, it is encrypted with a new stub and set to a different executable path, then there is no way to find its variable. I only know basic code and can explain this easily. Now, in my opinion, boys, this is probably how the pros are getting the cheats in. Uh, the previous methods I explained are probably not how the pros are doing it. And if they were doing it in this manner, it, they wouldn't need to be that ballsy because of how easy it would be. Um, so that's my opinion, guys, and uh, I hope it opens your eyes a bit. Okay boys, so in this clip I'm going to show you uh, low FOV aimbots and slowly move it up. So in this clip here guys, I have my FOV on my aimbot set extremely low. I think it's around 1. So the lower the FOV, the smaller of a range it has to lock on. So as you can see right here, it doesn't lock on until I'm extremely close. It has to be pretty much right beside his head to lock. See that's me tugging away. You can see a little shake there. Yeah. It doesn't really lock on until I'm right beside his head. But once it does lock on from that close, boys, it's pretty easy to uh, it's pretty easy to get your headshots. As you can see, um, even with a small FOV aimbot, if you already have decent aim, it's going to help you a lot, and it looks 100% legit. I mean. It's very hard to tell any difference is happening. Uh, so here I'm going to turn it up slightly, and it's even still, it's even still hard. You still have to get closer. I'm going to crank it up here a little more so you can tell. See now, now I can be a little further away from them, and again, still looks extremely legitimate. Um, let me remind you guys that these are not expensive cheats, okay? I mean, flicks like that look 100% legit, and uh, 
straight up on the fucking gear, boys. Now, it, it, it is very possible to get these kind of headshots just, just as easily without gear. Um, but gear will make it more consistent, obviously. Um, so now I've turned up the FOV even higher in this next scene here. And you guys are going to see how, how, how close you have to be when it starts getting higher up here. Alright, now you see that? Now, these look like more like flicks. So what I think the pros probably do is have one setting for like a flick aimbot and one for just a regular uh, small FOV aimbot. I, I actually think they're probably using a small FOV aimbot at all times, like a .5 or a 1, just to help them a little bit. And then when they want to clutch and do their nice flick shots, they do these. I could be wrong because I know they already have naturally good aim. But I mean, holding down a key while you're already using your naturally good aim only helps you out even more. And it still looks just as legit. Just the kind of damage you can do. So that, that's, how far, that's how far away you can be. And as you can see, it, it looks really legit. That's how far away you can be from the guy. Now obviously you could make similar motions with uh, just by flicking your mouse as well. Um, but these are very these are a lot more consistent. And they help out for uh, situations where you don't know where enemies are. So when they randomly pop out, it's a lot easier that way. Now boys, I know most of you know what a low FOV aimbot is. But I just wanted to show it to the people that don't know what it is, because I've had some comments, people don't know what it is. And, uh, literally, leagues like Face It at the top levels, like fa the face it, face it Pug system, is literally just littered with this kind of stuff, guys. And the guys at the top that use it probably don't even know they're playing against other people that are using it. Um... And also, you could cheat like this for years on matchmaking, and never will get a ban. Um, obviously there's a ceiling to how good you can be with these kind of cheats. It's not like you're spin bonding, you just killed the entire team. There's some people that, you know, use this and then uh, they need to win a few rounds. They, they turn it up, boys! They turn up the gear! So boys, this is just a little bit of an explanation and I hope this helps you guys. If you guys like this video, guys, throw up a like. It'll help me a lot. And if you guys want to help me financially, you can uh, find my Patreon in the description. And boys, I just appreciate the support in general. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Take care.